So what is this theory of yours? So I told Tabitha about the other drug head. The mysterious plate of Pop's food that materialized out of nowhere. My other strange visitors. OK, so you think that you opened up a portal? Yes, one there and one there. How? Well, I've been doing some research. Here, uh, read, starting at this yellow sticky. There's a theory that some mind readers aren't really reading minds, but opening portals into people's psychic landscapes and stepping through them, which is what it feels like I've been doing. OK, so you think that you're not just a mind reader, but also a portal opener? Yeah, in the same way that you thought you were a time traveler, but you're actually an angel. And and, and when your powers were going crazy, you, you think that you unconsciously opened up portals down here. Mm. But to where? I'm not sure, but it's some place where there is someone that looks exactly like me, like another Jughead. And there's another Pops, too. And I was hearing voices, and they sounded a lot like our friends' voices. And there's a typewriter typing, too. Are you talking about another dimension? <sighs> yeah, I didn't want to say that word, but yes. And I think we should explore it. But Jughead, we are getting ready for a war in this dimension. I know, I know that, Tabitha. But our power started manifesting after that big explosion at Argy's, right? That was the epicenter. And then the first time that any of us saw Percival was Archie at his house. Percival has these supernatural powers. Now, a lot of us do too. I, I think there's a connection between the explosion, our powers, and Percival's arrival. I, I just, I'm not sure that we'll find them here in Riverdale. <sighs> do you want to go dimension hopping with me? Alice. 